Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about my soul, so stay tuned. No, not that soul guys, this one. The reason why we're going to be talking about this Kia Soul today is twofold. One of them is that you guys know that I use some online auctions to be able to buy some vehicles and this is what I did with this one. As a rule, the online auction is very, very detailed on what is being sold. So you basically know every single detail about this car. I knew that this car's tires were just about wore out. I also knew that I had a couple little scratches here and there and you know all the details about the car. But when they give you these descriptions, they are supposed to be very thorough. And what I mean by that is you need to be disclosing everything about these cars as if it's something you would want to know should you be the one making the purchase. So I bought this Kia Soul, it's a 2015. Uh, it's an EX Plus, so it's loaded up pretty good. And I did know that it had a couple of scratches or blemishes, like these little scratches here. We can buff those out and make those disappear pretty good. I also knew that it had a little scuff right here on the back bumper. Again, we can buff that and make that look just like brand new. But what I didn't know was there were a few extra surprises that weren't disclosed to me. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this on camera, but there's a pretty good dent there, about two and a half inches long in the top of the door. That was not disclosed. However, they told me there was one scratch and dent on the rear door. But when we get the car here, there's one dent, two dents right here, three dents, Four dents. Now I'm gonna pop up a picture here on screen so you can see what the description was of these dents and you'll note that it's only showing one dent, one scratch on the driver's side rear door and it's not disclosing anything on the passenger door. So when we use these programs this is what makes us lose a little bit of faith in the system is that they are supposed to be 100% forthright in disclosing every little thing. When I do these auctions and put my cars up there, I'm doing that. I wanna make sure that the guy knows exactly what he's getting because I don't want them coming back on me saying they wanna be able to get it for less money. So what I did was I took the car down to uh, my friends down at Carstar and uh, Ron came out and took a look at the car and I said, listen, what's the absolute cheapest I can get this done? He says, will it be insurance? I said, no, because we all know insurance prices are inflated. Um, so I asked him, I said, is something that can be done for 500, 1,000, 1,500 bucks? So he gave me a quote uh, on what it's gonna cost to fix those dents and to get, the, uh, get this side repainted as well as the other side. The other option is PDR, which is paintless dent repair. And uh, you know, that would be perfect because we don't have to worry about matching the color. This is a real funky color on this Kia Soul and I'm not sure that it would be an easy one to try and match. So anyways, I'm gonna follow up with this story as soon as uh, I find out what they're gonna do for me. I've put a claim in for $1,500 with the auction company because they're the ones that did the actual sale on this for another dealer. So I'm not blaming the dealer. The dealer probably knew that those dents were there, but it was up to the uh, auction company to disclose that themselves. They should have known better. So. Um, are they gonna take a little bit of a hit? Yeah, they probably are. But at the end of the day, I've gotta still pay to get that door fixed. This one and the other side. So we'll follow up with this one again as soon as I find out. And the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the throttle body spacer that I installed on this vehicle in the last video. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, is it something that you notice a huge difference with? And at this point, I can honestly say, no. I don't think that this throttle plate or throttle body spacer is something that's gonna increase mega horsepower. However, one thing I do notice about the car is that the throttle response is right there. Uh, before you hit the gas, yeah, it worked great. But now when you just touch it, it seems like there's a little bit more responsive. Uh, does that mean more horsepower? Probably not. 
but I think if you were to start putting on a bunch more little add-ons, you'd probably see the difference. Also, today is shaping up to be a busy day sales-wise. We've got some customers who are coming in and some deals are starting to come together. So a couple of vehicles that we think uh, that we have sold or that may be going out today. The 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe XL. I think Bill has a deal all buttoned up on the 2014 Ford Fiesta. And we took an application on a fellow who specifically called in about the two-door Hyundai Elantra. So hopefully we can get these three vehicles gone today and pull off a hat trick in car sales here at Old Car Auto. So I'm gonna get things opened up here for the day. And I wanna remind you guys that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is a show that myself and Grant Tommy collaborate, which would be live tonight at seven o'clock Central, eight Eastern and nine Atlantic. And what do we do on this show? Well, basically we talk about cars. We also talk about YouTubing and what it takes to be a successful YouTuber and how to help grow our channels and grow everybody that watches us. Tonight we have a very special guest joining us is the Miniac, who basically specializes his channel talking about uh, minis because he does sell minis for a living and he's got a little bit of a passion for those cars. So we're gonna talk to him and his channel uh, talk to him and about his channel and uh, we'll have some uh, great commentary there on our regular show. Hopefully by the weekend we will have an engine here for Junior's car and we will be able to talk to you a little bit more in depth about what's going to happen with that and then what's going to take place with getting the motor swapped on the old Veloster for Junior. An ongoing longtime sponsor for this beard is Sussex Beard Oil there. Link is in the description box below. I hope you can check those guys out as well as I'm still looking for a few license plates. I've been receiving a few here and there and I'm hoping to get to Project Wall Art in the very, very near future. I know I've been saying that for a while, but between the, uh, you know, between camping and work and, you know, more camping and, and family time and all that stuff kind of getting in the way of this whole YouTube stuff. Well, yeah, no, I'm kidding. Just things have been busy and uh, we're trying to make sure that everybody gets enough time uh, to be, uh, you know, just to have relaxation and spend some time with family, stuff like that. So uh, we will be getting back to that project in the very near future. And uh, I just need some license plates for you got, from you guys. If you've got any spare ones kicking around that you just, you know, have been laying around forever and you want to get rid of them, feel free to send them my way. I've got two addresses in the description box. One is Canadian, one's American, so it depends on where you're from. If you're outside of North America, well, it really doesn't matter, I'll get it anyway. So I appreciate everything coming my way, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the Old Car Auto Guy because if we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna blow out Project Bubbles. Well, if you don't know what Project Bubbles is, you'll have to stay tuned. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.